what's going on guys clickwood here back again bringing you another madden 16 ultimate team head-to-head -head seasons game my opponent's team pretty solid he's got a tony romo of his own he's got also a richard sherman so we're gonna have to be careful of that richard sherman i do not want to get intercepted by him he could take it to the house at any time but we're going to get the ball first to start this game, guys. This is the second game of my season here. And Terrell Davis is going to get things started here with a 16-yard gain. Nice start to the game for us. And we're going to go back to him here on second down. This time out of the screen. We hit him with the rat catch there. And he is going to pick up huge yardage here. Finally taken down there, deep down the field after another big game. So we're already at the 44-yard line, and Dre Archer is going to get involved now in the offense. Back-to-back -back carries here, and he is going to be taken down right before the first down marker. So it's fourth and inches, and this time we're going to take our tight end, pull him out to the outside here, hopefully get the defense a little bit off there, and yes, we do. We're able to pick up the first down with a simple QB sneak there by Tony Romo. Now we're going to hit him with a play-action pass here. Should have been a huge game in there but Tony Romo threw that one a little high Kelsey had to go up and try and catch that one and he fell down while doing it but look at Terrell Davis look at this monster <laughs> finally taken down at the one yard line carrying three guys down the field being an absolute beast first and goal here unfortunately smashed in the backfield there we lose yardage second and goal and we're going to try to go with the toss one more time here but Terrell Davis is definitely too tired now he's been on the field for about three or four plays in a row now taking the ball and unfortunately on third down we're also going to take a sack so we end up having to take a field goal here on the first drive not a good situation we definitely wanted to come away with the seven points on that drive but could be worse could have came up with nothing so I mean at least we have the lead here on the first drive of the game my opponent though is moving the ball fairly effectively on his first drive he gets a first down there through the air and now he's getting one on the ground as well so he's moving the ball very very effectively here empty back set here and he's gonna throw the ball over the middle unfortunately for him Dominic Rogers Cromartie is waiting for him there lays the hammer on him and recovers the ball massive massive play there by DRC and we're back on offense here tr hitting Travis Kelsey there for a big gain brings up now another first down unfortunately damn Kelsey couldn't hold on to that one and he does drop it so it's bringing up now a second and ten we're going back to the run here with Terrell Davis taken down there after a two-yard gain third and eight here and we wait patiently Brian Finneran is going to be open and damn is he going to get in yes he gets in or does he we thought that he got in, but unfortunately, they say that the ruling on the field is overturned, so we do have to take the ball here at the one-yard line, but Tony Romo gets in very, very easily, so it is now a 10 to nothing lead for us here in the first half. Now, my opponent's got about two minutes here left in the half to drive down the field and try and put some points on the board. We're trying to stop him here with everything that we can, trying to cover his guys, and he's going to throw this one up deep. Patrick Peterson swats it away. Oh, we should have had that pick. That should have been a pick, but it wasn't, unfortunately. Third and 10 now, and my opponent's going to throw it directly into coverage again right at Roy Williams. Fourth and 10 here, and he's already going for it, and he is bombing it deep. DRC gets beat. He forced a fumble early in the game, but he cannot cover Demarius Thomas there. And damn it, we give up the long first down there. And that is going to put my opponent into scoring position here before the end of the first half. He's at the 19-yard line, taking the ball up the middle here. I believe that's Adrian Peterson picking up a big gain for him there. And now he's back here going to, for, to the passing game one more time, finding a man over the middle. Look at this, though. Take a look at my guy. He moves out of the way of this practically to not intercept it. I have no words for how horrible of coverage that just was. I was pretty damn pissed when that happened. I don't understand how the zone coverage in this game is so obnoxiously terrible sometimes. The guys just don't seem to react. But we do have the ball back on offense, and Terrell Davis is picking up some big yardage here. A monster gain for him there, and we're going back to the screen game here. Dre Archer's back on the field, and he's getting out of bounds there after about a nine-yard gain. And then Terrell Davis, one more time, baby, before the end of the first half. Make a man miss. Get that block and get into the end zone, young man. Touchdown, Terrell Davis, TD for TD. And we are up 17-7 to here going into the half. My opponent gets the ball coming out of the first half, and he is trying to continue to move the ball on the ground. It's working fairly effectively for him here. 
third and five though and he is going to the passing game could have been intercepted there but we barely miss it and then our cornerback misses the tackle so we have to track him down about 30 yards down the field there with a linebacker not an ideal situation could have given up there with our player but we decided to keep control of him and uh, we did make the tackle there. Drop pass by my opponent there on first down. And he's going back to the passing game. But we baited him in on that one. Michael Kendricks with the user pick. Gotcha, bitch. And we are back on offense. First down here. Brian Finneran for some reason fell to the ground there. I don't understand what the hell just happened. I tried to do a rat catch. But apparently he just dove to the ground afterwards. But it's all right. We get the first down on the next play. And then Terrell Davis making him pay again. Another huge gain. But he is taken down from behind. That was Geno Atkins, guys. A defensive tackle about 40 yards down the field making a tackle from behind on a running back. The speed threshold in this game, I have no words. Except for if you've got this guy on your team. Dree Archer, for some reason, is just a speed demon. He knows how to break loose, and he knows how to get into the end zone when he needs to. And there it is, guys. Travis Kelsey is going to get into the end zone this time. He goes with a simple drag route there over the middle. Probably could have thrown it to a bunch of different guys there and gotten a touchdown. Pretty much everybody was open. Crap, Kelsey made the play, though, and we are into the end zone. 24-7 here. About a minute left here in the third quarter, and my opponent bombing it down the field into coverage, and we're just not getting the interceptions for some reason. I don't understand what's going on with that. He's thrown it multiple times just directly into coverage and not gotten picked. And he's going to do it again here into double coverage. And his guy comes up with it yet again. Just bombing it down the field and his guys are coming up with it. Crazy, crazy stuff. I can't complain too much given the score. But man, that is pretty much his whole offense right now. This up, up the middle run out of shotgun with Adrian Peterson and then bombing it into coverage. That's pretty much the only thing he's done this entire game. But on the rest of this drive though, he is looking pretty good. He's finding some open receivers there. Nice completion for him. Can't complain. Lane. Another one here. Two guys wide open here. And he's going to get a block from the second guy. So he uh, gets another first down here at about the 20-yard line now. Looking to get some points on the board here. He's trying to bring it down to a two-score game. Right now, it's a three-score game. And right here, he is going to find his man in the end zone to make it a two-score game. So it's 14 to 24. But look at this. Terrell Davis again getting loose. Another huge gain here. Breaking a tackle. And he is off to the races. Finally taken down again from behind 200 yards on 12 attempts for Terrell Davis. And this guy is also getting involved. Dree Archer, another huge gain for him. Geno Atkins is not going to pull Dree Archer down from behind, though. Touchdown, 31-14. to And this game is pretty much in the bag at this point. Second and 10. My opponent's going to force a ball here into coverage. Finally, we get an interception. That is Vontae Davis, and he is going to put the game away. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. 263 yards rushing, three takeaways, 130 passing yards. Monster game for the team. Thank you guys for all the support. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again soon.